Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'd like to share with you a quick technique to test out different design when you're working in Fusion. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the Fusion page and I would like to share with you two techniques that I use to swap element on a design when I'm trying different concepts without having to undo and redo the modification to each node. I can save different versions of the title that I'm making to easily compare which one I prefer and come back to my favorite one. The first technique gonna concern individual nodes. So here, for example, only the text or only the rectangle. And the second technique gonna concern the entire composition. So for the first technique, let's say that I want to swap the text and try different font and different size. I could do that by selecting the text, going over here in version, clicking it, and here it prompt open this version bar where I can save up to six possibilities. So for example, here I have my first one. I can swap to the second one, change the font to another one, and reduce the size. And now I can go back to the first one and kind of decide which one do I prefer. This could be also a great way when creating your macro to create a different variant of one title. Let's say you're doing a title for YouTube subscribe button and you have a channel in Spanish and in English. You could have like two versions, one in English and one in Spanish. And again, you can do that up to six uh, different options. This works pretty much for any node. So for example, here on this rectangle, we could try out to see if we prefer to have the corner radius square or rounded. So I could just open the tab again. Here I have my first version with rounded corner and I could just go to the second version having square corner and kind of just bounce between the two and decide on which one do I prefer. Now, what if I want to do the same, but for the entire composition? Because right now we just localize on specific nodes. Well, we could do that by opening here the clip window, right clicking on it, and I can create a new composition. And if I right click again, as you can see, just duplicate this composition. So here I could rename it. We're gonna go with version two. And now if I were to make some modification to the text and the color of the rectangle, I can still go back to my first composition if I click load and that way I can easily bounce between different version or different stage of my project. You could use this technique not only to compare but also to have some multiple save of a project that you're working on. If you're afraid that adding more node or like a tracking gonna destroy your composition and that you're gonna have to start from scratch, I don't know where you're at in your node structure, you can save multiple versions of this so you can easily go back to like a previous version of the composition you were working on. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share those techniques with you because that's something that I use when I'm experimenting with title and trying to create new designs. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.